All right, so uh, here we go. EDC 2016. I don't do EDC videos. Uh, I've got one EDC video in all of my six years on YouTube, and that was done six years ago when I first started YouTube. I did a video probably after having only been on YouTube for a month. Um, and I get requests almost literally every single day. And for some reason over the holidays, uh, the last couple weeks, I've gotten requests even more, um, either through Facebook or on you know YouTube PM or on other videos or whatever. So I figured, you know what, we're going to go ahead and do an EDC 2016. It's not just going to be a simple pocket dump. I'm going to show you the different options that um, I might carry at any given time. Because, um, you know, people just want to know, oh, what gun, you know, what knife, that kind of thing. So here we go. Um, let's uh, get the boring stuff out of the way first. Got to have a set of keys and you got to have a wallet. This one's a lovely Timberland wallet, which I picked up for $15 at Marshalls. So there you go. Um, then we've got the light. Uh, I do carry a light on me. This is the uh, Bushnell, the, what is it, the T140L. Um, this is 140 lumen, takes a single uh, AA battery. I love this light. I need to do a video on this light. You've seen it in other videos. Um, I've got four of them now. I've got this one's my EDC. I got one in my vehicle, one on my bug out bag, and I actually have one of these on my uh, my shotgun, my home defense shotgun, my Mossberg 500. I love this light. I mean, it's affordable. You can pick them up for 20 bucks at Walmart. Probably cheaper than that online. They got a good. They come with a really solid steel pocket clip. Um, very simple uh, tail cap uh, push button design. Um, you know, I mean, is it comparable to an $80 light? No. Um, but does it work? Yes. 140 lumens is nothing to scoff at. Um, I've used this again, like I said, on a shotgun. It handles recoil perfectly. Um, I, I, 20 bucks, man. You cannot beat this light. So that's something I highly recommend. Um, knives, 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 knives. Okay, I've got two that I go through right now. I've got a buck. I think this is a buck 285, and this is a SOG G10 Fielder. This is the better knife. I think you can pick these up for 20 to 30 bucks. Uh, I can't remember what I paid for it at Walmart. I want to say it was 30, but I might be off. It might have been less than that. Um, this is the uh, the buck uh, 285 is cheaper. You can probably pick this one up for 15 to 20. Um, again, I don't buy expensive knives. I buy affordable knives that work. Um, again, this is the better one because it's all steel construction, but I actually carry this one a little more just because it's lighter weight. It's easier to slip in the pocket. Nice steel clip. It's a good design. Um, this one I've been using for about three or four, no, longer than that, about six months now. This one I've had for over a year. Um, both great knives. Highly recommend either one of them. Um, no complaints, but that's, uh, that's kind of my go-to there. All right, my go-to gun. It is going to be Glock 26. I've had this one for pushing five years now. I've um, got the plus two extension. I've done the 25 cent uh, trigger job the polishing uh, on the internals, which I'll, I'll do a video on that uh, one of these days and show you guys what I did with that. Um, and I carry it in this uh, CXP uh, holster by uh, Arm Civilian 556 here on YouTube. Did this holster for me. I actually did a couple of them. Um, this, I love this one. Works really well. Hands down, uh, check them out if you, if you guys want to uh, want to get yourselves a good, decent holster. Um, so anyway, uh, pretty bone stock, like I said, other than the uh, polishing job and the uh, plus two extension on there. Um, then there's this one. I picked this one up a uh, year and a half to two years ago. I can't remember exactly when. This, of course, is the Ruger LCR. It's just a 38 Special Plus P. Got a little DeSantis holster here. Um, fantastic gun. Highly recommend these. Obviously, there's a capacity issue compared to something like this, but uh, this is a lot lighter than that is, and it's a lot slimmer package. Um, so depending on what I'm doing, where I'm going, I might choose to carry this one instead of that one. And then last but certainly not least, this is my Taurus TCP or my Taurus uh, PT738. Absolutely love it. Was very impressed with it. These are very affordable guns. You pick them up for $199 brand new. I've got my little, uh, I believe this is the uh, the Aegis Armory, um, little uh, Kydex clip that goes over the trigger guard. So if you don't know what this is, basically you have your paracord here. This goes to your belt. Then you drop this in your pocket, covers the trigger guard, and then as you pull the gun up, this stops at your belt and then rips off as you present the gun towards the target and you're, boom, ready to go. This pops off and just kind of hangs there by your belt. So, um, great little gun. That, of course, uh, I find myself, just because it's so easy and convenient, I find myself carrying this a lot. And I put plenty of rounds through it, and uh, it, uh, it works. So, there you go. EDC 2016. That's what I carry. That's what I go with. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, I know some of you guys are going to ask me about the SHOT Show thing, because I had this on the table just so that you wouldn't be looking at something blank there at the beginning of the video. Um, am I going? I don't know yet. If I can get the time off work, I will go. And, of course, you'll see videos from that. Um, but uh, who knows? I do have my credentials, and I've got all my, my uh, media pass and all that stuff. But I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to go yet. But I'm certainly going to try. So, um, yeah, that's it, guys. There's my EDC 2016. Appreciate you guys watching. And we will talk to you later. Thanks.